Good morning, everyone. Apparently, I am not allowed to play Common Ground World right now. But I should be able to soon. How's everyone doing? Morning, morning. Let me get this started here. Martin, what's up? I did this? Oh, okay. There we go. A little too loud. Okay. Who? All right, JMR Leroy. What's up? Happy Town Start Tuesday, everyone. I'm gonna have to keep refreshing this. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes because I don't want to just refresh it every single minute. Bukari, last minute update in progress. Yeah, they just pushed out the update for the new NFTs two minutes ago. I don't know what else it was for. I think it was just for the new NFTs. Hi, Dub. Hi, everyone. Hello, Bukari. Farmer's Commander. Good morning. Rachel, hello. Good morning, Dub. Good morning, Rachel. Ali, what's up? They banned you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I, I didn't want to joke around about that. <laughs> I am banned. I can't play Town Stark. <laughs> Town Stark. I can't play Common Ground World. Laconi, hello. B Rob, what's up? Sub in chat. Hello, B Rob. Ali, <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. Good day. Have a good competition and a bit of fun, for sure. I think this one will be better than the sushi boat competitions we did. Although, to some people, it's still going to take a long time to gather up all the money you need. And you're probably going to build a nuclear power to do this. So not the easiest build, for sure. Uh, but at least it's different. At least we're not doing fish again, you know. Spinning globe. Well, let it, somebody can let me know if um it's letting you in the game. If not, I'll just refresh it in a few more minutes. I was gonna go on casual and show you guys the um NFT, the no NFT required build again. But I'm sure everybody saw it already. Guts, hi hi, Linda. Hello to you. Hello, Linda. Rich B, they are mad about your new NFT review. <laughs> you know, I always wonder if Gala ever sees those or anyone in the Common Ground World team. But like I said, I'm going to be honest with my reviews. Whenever they release Hatchet Hang Jr., I'm like, this is a great NFT. I got three of them. I still use them all the time. These new NFTs, like, um, they, they look cool. The artwork looks cool. I haven't seen them in the game yet, of course. Uh, I'll check out the two free ones that I got in the competition later on but the utility like let's be honest the utility is not good i was under the impression it was a quarter tile it's a full tile that makes it even worse utility utility wise you know i got the spinning globe now hold on i'm gonna refresh back in casual cool five minutes until the competition starts Jukesies, what's up? Have a good competition. For sure. Herp says I hi all. I don't know if I read your comment, Herps. I don't think so. Hello, Herps. You tell it like it is? Yep. I do my best to do that. Let me go on casual just for like four minutes. I didn't change anything. I don't believe so. No, I didn't change anything. But somebody pointed out, and I'm glad they pointed this out. Um, obviously this is the old biome. This isn't the one we're gonna get. I thought I did all my math. I did get one thing wrong and I posted it in a comment. You actually need one more pond in order to get the four passive water that you need for these cotton fields. Because for some reason, I always thought it was three passive water, but I was getting it confused with the weed. So yeah, just add one more pond. Re removing one tree might take away like two jack-o'-lanterns from your rate. You could do other tweaks to increase it further. I've seen some ideas that I don't know if they've been shared. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say anything else. <laughs> There's always ways to improve it though. I've seen some ideas out there. Uh, make sure you have Update Town offline turned off. So it doesn't take you a whole week to get back in here. Yeah, there's nothing else I need to say about this, actually. That's about it. I guess I'll leave it here for like two more minutes. 
spinning globe hurts a lot you doing you is what makes uh you really great for the community mate thank you so much hurts a lot all right so this competition i think i'm going to be able to do it very fast and the reason for that is because of the nfts that i'm going to use oh, that's like the main factor to be honest like i didn't i could have practiced my rush strategy yesterday i didn't do that i usually don't practice a rush strategy but i have a feeling that i can get this done very very fast i am not planning to use nuclear power only because of the energy nfts that i have so i can get away without having to build nuclear power that's going to save me a lot of money and time and i have an nfts for various buildings that i'll be able to use on this so it means that i'll need even less money and i figured out that i can have my build cash positive by doing an ice rush a lot of these nfts i'm technically borrowing them because i am um helping this person sell their nfts and i do have permission to use them in the meantime so it's gonna help me out big time all right i'm gonna leave uh the casual and go to to the competition page Rachel, yeah, I'm not doing nuclear too expensive. Oh yeah, the 888s and energy, you can do that. Here we are. I did the test server, right? Uh, what did I get on the test server? Actually, I didn't fast forward on the test server. It doesn't even matter. Huh, nobody really plays the test server. Okay. Yeah, I just tested my build for like a couple hours and that was it. Dubuka, hello. Greetings from Finn. Uh, Finland? I believe. AKC, hello. Hey guys, good day. AKC says, the only thing I'm not enjoying in this meta is the cash drain. I am new to this approach and it's like so bad for me working on two builds. One for cash, one for the stars. Yeah, a lot of people are not used to that. I expected that to be an issue. It's part of the challenge, in my opinion. I am fine with it. You either... You play it two ways. You make your build cash positive. Or... You gather up enough cash beforehand. Either way will work. Although, if you gather up enough cash beforehand, you gotta do some math. <laughs> uh, a lot of people get the numbers wrong. Starts in four seconds. Well... Now? Yeah, now. Three seconds. All right. Ali, we know NFT players have to gather 100 million. Nuke has been probably yeah for sure. K i b l r a p. Hello. I should say your name shorter, like K b l rap or something. Cable rap. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, focus on this for a little bit. See where I can take it. I do have the warehouses and stuff. Also, how do I want my layout to be like this? I could spin it around. I don't really think about that, but I could spin it around however I want. Hmm. Let me go ahead and apply my skins and stuff. Oh, my corrupting. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I do have Crypto Dude's calculator. I can show that off in a bit as well. I probably should have figured this out first, but I'm spinning my town to see how I uh, want to start my layout. And to be honest, I'll probably just leave it like this. Yeah, because I have more space for my trees over here. Okay. I'm going to do gold for cash at the start. I don't need pretty much almost everything. Like all the stuff they gave us, cool. But I don't I really don't need it. Like pottery shop here. Um no, nah, I'll just rebuild it. I don't think I need that. I'll keep the warehouses. 
all this. I mean, I keep the lumber mill too. I got. I don't. I really don't even need the lumber mill either. Okay. Two. Well, you know what? I can do the rows like this now. So I've never had the ability to use so many paved road NFTs before. And I understand now why the top players have a bunch of them. Because it really does save time. I have to move these around later to build ponds, but right now I'm not that worried about that. Just trying to get stuff set up here. Do these. Probably put the crane bots over here for now. And So the reason the calculator is going to keep popping up is because it is uh, the hotkey is C and whenever I'm searching for something with the letter C, it's going to trigger the calculator. Let me put some of the green forges just so I can start making some money. And yes, I am giving some green forges away in case you weren't aware. One will be given away on my Discord server. Easy giveaway to enter amongst other giveaways. And I'll be giving away one of them from the YouTube video that I just posted yesterday. Okay, let me just do those three and let me put down i'll start with goldie and mama panner i should put down the whole family i'm just trying to figure out exactly where i'm gonna do that yeah i'm just warning you guys this is probably gonna be the most nfts that i've ever used in any other build I've done. Junior. I imagine this is how Nacho does every single competition. <laughs> yeah, I don't know actually. But I would imagine. You know, I don't even have my gold storage yet. Gold ore storage. Put that. I guess I'll put it there. Yeah. Then I need to put my. Well, I don't need to put the diamond warehouses yet. I got the regular warehouses. So I can wait on the diamond warehouses. Alright. I think I have everything for gold. Yeah, I do. I just need to place down the rest of the Panner family. I'll place it down in random spots. Louis de Point, what's up? Wajer, I'll take a green forge. Everybody will take a green forge. They're all interested. I, I know I'm going to sell a couple because I do have to sell a couple of them too. Put down oopsies. Good point. Where should I put that down actually? Um, I'm going to put it over here because over here in this area is where the beehives are going to be and I don't have to worry about those right now. A good point. I can put down oopsies and the jewelry stuff. I'll put down all the jewelry stuff here. Yep. Yeah, there you go. All that stuff. What is the craft time on these? 11 seconds with all that stuff? Okay. Wow. Right, who's still missing? I think it's 
Cooper and Rose and Lily. Yeah. Should be the whole Tanner family. I am making gold. Turn auto sell. I'll turn update town offline on. Gold at 25. Okay, so gold rush should be good. Next, I need to do lumber and energy. Uh, I want to do those here somewhere. I'm just not exactly sure where yet. Dang, yeah. Let me see. Road. I, think I have a road here somewhere. The road's here somewhere. But the good thing is I can move these around if I place them in the wrong spot. Yeah, the, the road is there somewhere. And... I think... I think my wood storage should be here, but I also need one for regular wood. Okay, that should work. We need somebody making lumber. Oh, typed it wrong. Okay, that settles the lumber. Energy. Oh, okay. I'm trying to place things in in very specific spots. Like I am actually trying. It's not completely random. Okay, so that'll do energy. I got lumber. I got gold for the money. And I think I'm good for now. Like, obviously, I need to expand my gold production. But I got the rough idea. Yeah, I also need to do the ponds. And just do a couple more gold panning sites. There, okay. Sell my gold because I don't need it. All right, I'll work from here. Yellow man, my man, what's up? Kibble wrap. <laughs> Shanra, what's up? K, K I K. Bokar, I'm just gonna have to set up my rushes and gas and just go away for a while so I can build up a lot of cash. Yeah. I imagine that's the plan for some people. Yep, sold some gas, so more gas. I don't think I'm going to do wine bottles on this one, actually. I don't think I need to. You would think that I need all that cash that I'm going to do wine bottles. Originally, that was the plan. But after practicing and doing some math, I do not think I need to do wine bottles. I'm just going to do gold. And I'm going to try to go to for uh, the jack-o'-lantern production as fast as I can. But I want to clear out the map so I can have more space to think about things. Okay. All right. And I want to build the pond so I don't have to keep moving these towers too often. Mohosin, what's up? Cash boost, wax, and cotton yarn are cash boosted. You could make wax from the very start. Although people have found other methods that are much better. One would have one method would be uh gold, of course. You know, um I was reading the announcement for the competition that Farmer Michelle posted right before this started. It said 
be creative and it's a let me say what did it say exactly when starting this week with the new town set up get creative it may be best to start with something like heart-shaped pendants they're pretty easy to get from this layout um i was reading that right and i just double checked the cost of the foundry and the cost of the jewelry table the jewelry crafting table and i'm like there is no way that is easy for some people like th that's a lot of money you would need to spend at least like two million just to get to the heart shape pendant production chain and then from there i don't even know if it's worth it like how many hours are you gonna have to run that to make money well to be honest i didn't do all the math i actually don't even remember what my no nft required heart shape pendant rate was but i don't think it would make you enough cash okay i got that pond done i need to go check and see where the other ponds are at nancy nova what's what's up how are you doing i'm doing good i'm doing good thank you Let's see one two another pond there so i will need um let me just look for a road so i can build that pond you would think with my water towers i don't need any ponds but i actually do i mean there's a lot of trees and pumpkins involved in this That's two pawns out of, like, what, six of them? You know, most of these roads I could just place down right away, to be honest. That's why I'm pretty sure this will get done fast. Let's see how many I can place down now. Pond here. Where am I from? I am from Texas. United States, Texas, and I got a spinning globe because I said that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and refresh. Okay. Oh, let's get a question. Legacy. Right, Legacy comes out in two days. I'm planning to live stream it. I really don't know how often I'll make videos on Legacy, to be honest with you all. Like, um, it's like ch with Champions Arena. Like, I make videos for Champions Arena as well. I just don't do them for every single thing. But re really, I don't make videos for every single thing for anything. I don't think I even make videos for everything that happens in Common Ground World. Just whenever I feel like I have enough to talk about. And I have time for it, I guess. Oh, cool. Nice, Nancy. We got people from all over the globe here. That's why the game's called World. I'm in Ground World. What's I gonna do here? Play some more roads. I want to do the uh, champion arena battles, but um, the uh, the game keeps freezing, unfortunately. Something they desperately need to fix. Nah, I don't stream daily. Usually, I'll stream about once a week. In some cases, twice. Actually, scratch that. I technically stream twice a week. Yeah. Okay. Let me check my gold. Oh yeah, I just refreshed it. Um, 
I can do more gold. Yeah, before I forget. Yeah, I don't need beads. Oh yeah, those need water, that's why. That makes sense. Waiting on water. I need more lumber, so do another one. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing my roads. Two, three, four, five. Uh, three more, I believe. Favorite game, it depends on the category, really. Ali, three times spinning jam, dying from rage. Spinning jam? <laughs> Martin tested gold setup uh, a few hours before competition, three or four forges, start is faster. Oh, for sure. Gold rush is definitely faster. Oprah's laser, what's up? What stores honey? You would have to store it in the pantry if you're gonna do honey. So yeah, you gotta build a pantry for that. Oh yeah, so I did practice my build. With the amount of paved road NFCs that I have right now, I actually don't think I need to build any. If I remember correctly, I use almost all of them. Okay, I placed that one wrong. Well, let me place down what I, what I know for sure I'm going to need here. I'm going to need the diamond pump to double the water drums that all my aquifers give. And really, my junior should be up here. I'm going to move my juniors. Gotta move some stuff here. Oh, that's a lot of gold ore now. Okay. Alright. Should be good on gold. Why did I pick up a clay lump? That must have been from uh, the very start. Yeah. That must have been from the beginning. Oh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Last of Us 2. Yeah, I played both of, the, both of the Last of Us games recently. I didn't play them when they first came out. Uh, I enjoyed both of them, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed the... I, I know it's controversial, but I enjoyed the second game more than the first game. Because I feel like it had more content. Grand Theft Auto 5. I played that when it first came out. I played that for years. I've not played it in many years, to be honest, because... That's an old game right now, in my opinion. But I am looking forward to Grand Theft Auto 6 once that comes out. Cecil, what's up? Will there not be gala for comps anymore? Um, So Cecil, I heard that they actually will keep rewarding gala. In addition to dirty. Dirt. <laughs> Dirt and gala. You guys get way more spinning globes than me. I should, I should try to make even more lumber, really. Um, no, I know. The power plant. I do need the power plant. Power plant. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to place down roads here. This really shouldn't take long. 20 minutes in, making pretty good progress. I probably could do better if I actually practice this, because like sometimes I'm like, what do I want to do next, you know? profession besides gaming that's a good question because right now i do have i do part-time work and really it's like family business sort of thing because my dad owns a company and i'm not gonna get too much into the details of that but i do help him out with that
<laughs> Gala and Dirty. Gala and Dirt something. Something Dirt. Ali, I don't like Flame, but Gala sucks in Dev in this game. I I get that. Um, I feel like they could do so much better in this game, yeah. Like, I understand some people really love the game, and they just don't like the team. Yeah, you're welcome, Cecil. Bonjour. Wait, what is the reward for this comp dirt? No, it's a gala. They're going to keep gala rewards. That's amazing. That's what was said during the light paper reading, Unix. It even came from Bitbender directly. The plan is there's going to be gala and dirt rewards. Okay, I should specify one thing, Unix. One thing. They're going to keep doing gala rewards up until the point where the new token gets created. At that point, I do I do not think they're going to keep doing gala rewards. Um, but while we're getting the soft token, from my understanding, we're still going to get gala rewards. I mean, you know how everything is subject to change. They can do whatever they want and at the end of the day. But that's what I heard. And now I'm not just randomly placing down pay bros. This will be very important later. As, as it always is. Just randomly placing up vape roads. Gonna be very, very important. As long as I don't place them down in the wrong spots, that is. Which I think they should all be in the correct spot. Right? Are they though? Yeah, 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 they are. This is crazy. I placed down almost all my roads already. Wow. Yeah, I didn't make the uh, power plant. All right. Um, the couple things I could build, and I think I'm gonna build the loggers first because I'm gonna keep needing the uh, wood production. Nancy recently completed the degree in game development and visual design from the University of Manchester. Awesome. Nice. I work in a company as a professional artist. That's cool. For, um, it's for games. Art for games, right? From my understanding. I still need three pawns here somewhere, but I gotta move all this. So I'm gonna see if I can move my green forges. I, I think I can move them like right here. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. For sure, Nancy, you can send me a message. I have had people contact me for that before, just so you know. Wait for us, we all in spinning. Why do y'all keep spinning, huh? <laughs> Doesn't really happen uh, too often to me. I wonder if it's... um. Hold on. Hmm. Refresh this. It's probably both the connection and the device you're playing on. I mean, don't get me wrong, We none of us should be spinning. None of us should get the spinning globe and keep getting disconnected. Oh shoot, why am I building them? Oh, you know what we do need? A quick place. I don't think I need to build any, that's why I'm just placing them down. Quick place for the NFTs. Oh yeah, I have a Discord. Um, you know what? I don't think I ever put it on Twitch. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I went ahead and dropped it on the Twitch chat for you.
Okay. We're gonna make these have uh, gold. Pop one more right here. Yep. Green forge. Okay, this whole row is going to be roads, so I'm just going to get rid of these. Yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that. Goldie, I'll move you somewhere else. Um, Goldie, you can go here. Hey, road. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I went so fast that I broke the game, guys. Sorry, this keeps happening. <laughs> Pleasure. Are you going to put the tractors and loggers where you put those random paved roads? Um, It's a good guess, but no, Wazir. That's actually not correct. I'll give you one more try. Yeah, I got disconnected. Let me go ahead and refresh it. Hopefully I don't get ruled back. That's what happens when you do things too fast. I, I guess we'll count that as a spinning globe or a disconnect. So that's my second one. Go back in menu and fix this. Oh, really? I usually just refresh. Okay, where are we at? The fabric plants? Nah, no. It's the pottery shops. <laughs> When you think about it, like, um, picture the no NFT required build that I shared. You know how to, I had the crops at the top, right? Oh, you can't see my mouse, but I had the crops at the top over here. And the uh, fabric plants were to the left and the pottery shops were to the right. It's kind of like that. And then the, uh, the beehives and stuff, they were here, right? Somewhere here. Mine are actually going to be like over here. So it's, it's very similar. Like, the layout I created for myself was inspired by the no NFT required layout that I did. Keep forgetting, I don't have to... I don't have to buy those. Just place them down. I think I'm almost done with all my roads. Uh, I'm trying to get the ponds built, so I don't have to deal with that later. Can't load back to main menu again. Well, yeah, that was always the issue, so, like... Is that a problem again? I wouldn't be surprised. See, this is why I refresh it, the, the whole page. Where are my pawns? Oops. There and... Uh, that's not right. Here and... You know what? What is up with this? These are wrong. Okay, yeah, these are wrong. Let me place down my diamond where else actually I'm going to need to place it. My road structure is just a little off. Just a little. Yeah, move all this stuff. Supposed to be over here. Uh, I get rid of that. I get rid of all this. I just move it around. It's easier to think about this once I have all the roads down. 30 minutes in. I still think I can finish this in like under two hours. We will see. 
We shall see. Get rid of all these again. Place the pawns down up here and over here. These are where my crops are going to be, so I got to move those. Uh, I got to move that. I, I'll go ahead and move, destroy all this. And I don't need any of these. All right. Are you guys going so fast? <laughs> ah, okay. That's that's my third globe. When you talk calm, low voice, there is an extra tone like a buzz sound. Oh, that's the AC. The AC, the AC is buzzing. I have it on because um, although it's not that hot. Uh, as long as I have the AC on, it's chill, you know? Yeah. Tupuka, how much pumpkin sell of, pat of 10 patch? I think there are a thousand each, Tupuka. They're the same as Jack Lantern. So, 10 pumpkins would give you 10,000. Let's say, oh, let me go ahead and build those ponds, get those out the way. So I have those, um... Renaming your town doesn't work? I haven't tried, actually. I don't do that right away. I get to it eventually. There's so much stuff I want to do at the beginning of the competition that, um... Renaming my town, I usually do that afterwards. Like, right now, I'm trying to think where I... I need to place on the rest of my Panner family again, because I pretty much took them all out. Moving them around. I already have Sylvester, Goldie, Rose, and I think Papa Panner? No. Papa Panner's over here. I think that was it then. I don't need this one. Um, actually, I have like a whole road going on here. Oh, yeah. Let me place some of my towers again. There's like so much going on here, but I think I'm done with the ponds, so I don't have to move those towers around anymore. And I believe I am done with the roads. Like I said, I should make all the money I need with just the gold rush. Okay, am I actually building anything? No, I'm not. Let me build more log. down trees yeah I'm gonna put down all the trees maybe some pumpkins your workers are gonna have to refresh oh no <laughs> Dibuka what I should do with this wax this is way too slow way to do rush yeah that is the problem wax although it's cash boosted it's not cash boosted enough because it's slow Dibuka I would recommend doing gold instead it's much faster cash 
Three to the point. This new NFT they gifted us, it read weavers. What are they? Weavers are fabric plant workers. Leave. Oh, they can go here? Okay, that's that's supposed to be for cotton. I've never done a golf rush since I do the shrimp rush. <laughs> I'm starting to think I can do both for rush and see how fast. Probably, you probably could do both. Um, shrimp rush usually takes up like the whole town if you do it correctly, though. I mean, like, you can take up the whole town. Um, my game froze again. This is like the fourth disconnect, so. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, let me refresh it because nothing's happening. Disconnect number four. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Yeah, Gold Rush is awesome. Um, KIBL Rap is doing a golf rush, though. <laughs> I know what he I know what he meant, though. Let me see. See if I can do another battle in Champions Arena. Okay, pretty sure I'm good on trees for all the wood and lumber I need. Could maybe add more. Gold forges, green forges. Um, maybe two more. Like, I want to be able to use all the gold ore. I'll clear up the map. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? Ice Rush. I was gonna do Ice Rush. That's the, the thing that's gonna keep me cash positive. Whoa. Uh, gold makes me more money. But uh, the reason I'm doing the Ice Rush is just to stay cash positive. It doesn't take up that much space. Uh, so for Ice Rush, and I haven't done this in a while. That's why I completely forgot about it. You would need these uh, NFT that gives you cold and... Uh, the master wizards because they can craft the ice blocks right so yeah let's see they can craft ice blocks actually this isn't where it goes <laughs> and a uh, storehouse so you would store them at a storehouse and this goes to the side right here cool there you go that's the ice rush now i'm gonna place down a whole bunch of other things a whole bunch so diamond charge station doubles on my energy. This is the reason why I don't need to run a nuke. Next thing is, oh yeah, it doubles the energy that my power plant gives out. So all of those have energy. First solar panel here. This is going to get four passive energy for all of my pottery shops. So then haunted mazes. The third one and the fourth one are useless, but I am going to need to place them down in order to get the full passive bonus. But I guess the fourth one's not useless. I know some people like B-Rob are going to use the fourth Haunted Maze Zone for the passive nectar. But uh, I am using the other piece for that, which would be Zone 1. So I go ahead and place that. Yeah. Zone 3 would give me my passive clay lumps for all my pottery shops, which I'm planning to make. So that's all the haunted zones. The aquifers are going to give me all my passive 
water drums. So I'll have full passive energy, water drum, and clay lump for all of my pottery shops. You'll be able to see that soon. I'm going to go ahead and build some of the tractors. Actually, can I just build them all? No, I'll build five. Not all of them, just five of them. Okay. Trying to think of what I'm going to do next. Making glue, yeah. I think I'm to the point where I'm, I just need to build stuff. I am to that point. Building mode. So yeah, and we're only 40 minutes in. I just need the cash and the materials to build stuff and I will be able to do jack-o'-lanterns already. I think I broke the game again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I broke the game. It keeps happening. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> you just noticed you put golf instead of golf, <laughs> yeah. And Dub, how's it going? Do you notice effects of update before the game? No, um... Oh, you mean like the disconnects? If you meant the disconnects, then yes, of course I noticed those. Any other changes? No. Uh, let's go ahead and while we're waiting, because... Well, you know what? I need more builders. The reason why we're waiting for stuff to build is because I don't have enough builders. Oh. It's gonna be where my beehives go, but I'll do that in the end. Well, yeah, let's just play some builders like crazy. Can't go wrong with too many builders. Alright. <laughs> Coordinator, what's up? You are Dirt Star well now. I sure do feel like one, to be honest. Now I do, with all these freaking NFTs. So, Tweets, this four is the only one I have. Oh, the Haunted Maze Zone 4? Yeah. I mean, it was a free one, so a lot of people have those. Well, coordinator, if you need to buy more uh, great sawmills or something, just let me know. What else do I need? Money, resources. No, I still have more stuff to place down, actually. I'm just thinking, what do I actually need right now? Um... Because really, if I wanted to, to be honest, I can start making cotton yarn and the ceramic bowls. Possibly. Let's see. Let me move some stuff around. I actually don't think I need this many trees yet. Mama and Papa. Um... What did I just remove then? Oh, Sylvester? Yeah. Where do I have gold? Oh, goldies over here. That's right. Oh, uh, that's fine. Oh. 
Let's make some over here. I don't actually need that road. This one. And that doesn't actually go there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to get top 25 on this one. I totally forgot to mention that. I am actually trying. I actually did practice. Um, I know there's some people with with better rates than I have, but like my advantage here is trying to do this quickly. It's my five spinning now and can't do nothing about it. Wow. So that's all because of my disconnect. I forget uh, applying skins all in chat. If you don't apply them, do not. For sure. I still haven't applied my ghost cards. At least not all of them. Bulky storehouse, I guess. For that. An auto sell ice. Which, well, how much does 25 ice sell for again? It's been a while. 118k. Yeah, that's right. Um, what else is relevant? What are we using? Garment. That's the wrong one, actually. That's the one I'm giving away. Um, graded ceramics. There we go. Ancient garment specialist. Guided blades. I think that's it. I don't think there's another one I'm using. That should be it. That's the Nadal's I'm playing. Yeah, I believe that. I mean, it's only been an hour. Okay. Um, I still need to make the ceramic bowls, but I can do that already. place some of these down and then obviously I'll build the rest of them out. Ooh, too much energy. Man, I really need that energy, but I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Because I actually do need the warehouse. I'll make more energy. No problem. Making more energy. Full passive We're gonna be coordinator this time, that's the goal. Oh, hold on. That's all the ones I have, so there we go. Get started with those. So ceramic bowls turn to wax. I'm sure I need more of these. Why is that builder stuck? Anyways. Oh. Two. Wood, lumber, still doing good on resources. I said I was getting this done fast guys I think I can do it we shall see how fast it actually is and go ahead and make all the tractors Ooh, 
what do I don't even know what else I need to build. I'll let all that build and then I'll figure it out. How's my gold door? Ooh, not enough gold door. Did I replace it all? Add two more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use my pumpkin storage, I forgot. Can I sell these? Cool. And I'm making wax. Yeah, I am making wax. I am gonna have to make the pottery shops for the jack-o'-lantern. We'll see. We'll see how long all that takes. All right. Passive gas finish. Sweet. This competition needs cold? No, it doesn't. You don't need cold. You don't need ice. No. I'm doing it because um for the cash. So I can stay cash positive. But that only works if you have the NFTs for it. I'm like halfway done. Would you guys say I'm halfway done? It's 50. It's been 53 minutes. And I'm pretty sure I can get this done in under two hours. I thought maybe even less than that. But we'll see. I can't... Oh, 45 more minutes, Cecil? It's been more than 45 minutes, so I, I can't finish in under 45. This forest setup pretty cool. Lots of buildings sell or work with. What, have you meant like the starting setup we got? Yeah, it, it's cool. It does offer a faster start. Duke says I need truck who can sell 100 item. That would be nice for some things, yeah. Like gold rush or shrimp rush. I would hope that that's like one of the things a trade bot can do, like sell a hundred or whatever you want it at a time. And um, not need any gas or anything really. Like so I have pumpkins, I have wax. I can make the cotton yarn actually. It's the only problem is that it's going to cost me lumber. And... I am um, I'm also using the lumber to build stuff, right? Like the loggers. We'll see. I guess I could. No, but then uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can make jack-o'-lanterns, but that means I'll make less money. So I kind of have to figure out what I want to do first. Got to make sure these don't fill up either. Make more energy. Shiner. Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn this on. What's the craft time? Four seconds? Okay. 
Have you get a competition up? Thank you. Why not put more worker like uh builder houses? This I could keep putting more and more, really. I think most of them are just waiting on energy now. Like I had a bunch of energy, but I got rid of it so I can put down the uh, warehouse. Either way, I'm going to need to wait for cash. I'm going to need more cash for all uh, the pottery shops and the fabric plants. What is my gold rate? 1,770 per hour. That seems very good. At least 8.6 mil. The ice gives me another mil. Hmm. Should be done within the next hour. Just basing it off the amount of cash I can get from this. Yeah, builder. I think I'll be good because they're just waiting on energy. I guess I could put down like another six builders. Sure, you convince me, Yuan. I'll go ahead and put down like six more builders. I'll sell pumpkins also. Make more what? I do need cotton yarn to make jack-o'-lanterns, but that means I would need cotton if I do that. Which means I had to get rid of some stuff. Okay, that's my cotton. They're gonna take it to either the Supreme Silo or the Ground Silo. Either one works. So, right, I'm gonna have to build fabric plants. However, Apparently there's also NFTs for that that I have, that I am, if you are interested in buying these, let me know. For the time being, I will use them. To be honest, this NFT, like, it rarely gets used. I don't see the, the legendary fabric plant NFT ever, like, really come up in situations. I think originally they sold this because there was going to be a uniform competition. Um, but... Lately, we haven't really needed to use it. But it seems like it'll be used in this competition as well as the next one for the Halloween treat bags. Because apparently you need cotton yarn to tie up the bags or something. I think that was the logic behind it. But there we go. I have five of them already. I need to build the rest of them, of course. But the only difference is that these have lower wages and they walk faster. I want to see what the uh, spooky NFTs look like. So let's see the spooky house of laughs. Right here. Alright. Cool. Yeah, it's like a tent. Spooky go around. Oh, it actually moves around even better. Um, one of them helps me with the fabric plant worker movement speed. I forget which one. I'll keep them there and, and until I need to replace them for pottery shops. Okay. Which, I'll go ahead and build more pottery shops, actually.
So, so if any of my workers accidentally go to your town, we'll be being fast by your workers. <laughs> What else do I have to place? Oh, that actually... Uh, actually doesn't go there. Probably shouldn't turn all of these on just yet, though. Would be a bad idea. Maybe I can sell the pottery shops also. The the uh, ceramic bowls from the pottery shops. Or the wax. Wax would make more sense. We are an hour in. Let me check the rankings. 63. And that's just because I don't get that many points from selling gold. I'm making jack-o'-lanterns though. I am now making them. I made my first one. And that's one hour in. Would totally be unheard of. I'm mostly just missing the cotton. The, uh, the cotton yarn. Yeah, from the cotton fields. We yeah, put like two more. I would have to get rid of my gold, uh, entire gold rush to finish that off. You know, we should be almost done though. We really should be. Well, I should be making iron. Oh, Pukari says making iron now because we got to have new. That's right. Most amazing facts. Hello. I joined the one before this competition. Will I get paid or not? Um, Which one are you talking about specifically? You're going to have to be more specific than join the one before this one. Pukari, 46 place because jam is good. Yeah, jam gives more points for a starting rush. That's why I get like usually when I do my wine bottle rush, I'll end up in top 10 within like the first hour. But then, of course, I'll go down. How's it looking like? Lumber, wood, still good. Okay. I think I'm almost done with... Well, okay, I'll go ahead and take off these spooky NFTs. I'm not planning to use these spooky NFTs. They just don't help enough. But yeah, once those get built, I think that's it for the pottery shops. And then I'll do the beehives, and then finally I'll do the cotton, well, the fabric plants. And then that'll be it, you know? 
very fast, as I kind of thought so. Way too fast, even. I'm gonna need to refresh my game for this one. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, well, I think I can just go back to the main menu. Oh yeah, NFTs have that effect. No, you're right. The twist, but what about your cash? That is true to twist. I don't know if I have enough to build everything. <laughs> If you meant for the wages, I should be cash positive. Technically, well, I didn't test this out. I just did the math in my head. But I should be cash positive because of this right here. The ice. I should be. We'll see if that's actually the case. If that's not the case, then I might have to change something around. My storage is full. Let me stop making stuff. Yeah, I sold... I, I Yeah, it's okay. Sold some bowls. Uh, stop making energy. I am using my porch, finally. I am using it to make pumpkins. I'm gonna have it right here. Because it's like a free pumpkin patch, you know, but the uh, tractors don't have to worry about picking it up. So if I'm not mistaken, all of these should be ready. And I did rotate rotate them all so they could get to the warehouses faster. Okay. Pottery shops are done. I guess the next thing to do would be to make more beehives. That should be good, and then I'll do the rest of them later. the point is that lonely aquifer if giving you two water drums two drums the well yes but the aquifer usually only gives you one water drum the reason it's giving me two is because i also have the diamond water pump placed down actually if, if somebody for some reason is interested in a diamond water pump let me know because the person i'm helping sell nfts for has one I already have my own, so I'm not like borrowing theirs or anything. Sneaky, yeah. The the diamond water pump helps out with that. This is the best ceramic bowl setup that I've ever made. Because you really don't waste a lot of space on like ponds. You don't need a nuke because I'm using the rear solar panel and the diamond charge station. And it's just set up in a way where the zone 2 will give you 
passive clay for a whole lot of these. It it doesn't reach like these, but these are the ones making jack o' lanterns. It reach. Oh, but there's no w water drum reaching this one, but yeah, this one makes jack o' lantern. Oops. Did you miss oops or did you just misspoke? Did I miss something about giveaway for this live? Or it was only your last YouTube video? Uh, oh yeah, I'll talk about the giveaways. So yeah, there's a bunch of giveaways going on Discord. There is one going on for the YouTube video that I posted. If you watch the video, you know what the qualifications are. Come on. The comments are sus. But uh, <laughs> I am going to pick a winner for that on my live stream on October 27th when the competition is about to end right after the competition ends the plan is to do that um i'll use a program to pick a random comment so i'm not the one picking it it's going to be program and if the comment doesn't meet the requirements then another comment will be picked that's how that's going to work uh same thing for the twitter ex post giveaway i'll pick uh not me i'll use the program to randomly pick one check a couple of things to see if they meet the requirements and if they do then that'll be the winner um i am going to do a live stream next week for halloween where the plan is to give away a couple more things exact list isn't made so might be one two three four or five things i'm not exactly sure just yet i'll think about it more over the week and yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes we'll see that'll be throughout the whole entire live stream so maybe one at the start one 30 minutes later one near the end something like that you know what i mean all the other giveaways are on discord all you have to do is click the button to enter all of them are awesome for sure i would hope so they are some awesome nfts like i included green forges great sawmill rare water pump paved roads bunch of the good stuff there oh hatch hang jr that's right uh people kept wanting to buy all the hatch hang juniors but i'm like i do want to reserve one for the giveaway do i need more wood and more lumber i just need more wood yeah let me stop making so much lumber yeah, let me also go ahead and sell. What can I actually sell from here? Let me just sell some energy. I, obviously, I don't even need that much energy. I'll make more energy if I do need it. But yeah, let me make one less lumber. I'll turn this one off. Okay. Really generous of you, man, for sure. Just my way to give back to the community. And the plan is to keep doing this, you know. We got some holidays coming up. It would be a perfect time to do so. Watcher, which video? I watched your last one. Did I just tune you out when you mentioned the giveaway? Perhaps. Perhaps that was it. Um, That is all I'll say, though. It was my most recent video. Because I did mention that on the Discord. I think some people will miss it, though. I do believe some people will just miss that. But most of the giveaways are on Discord. I think those are really easy to enter and do. I just wanted to offer different opportunities to enter them. Uh, somebody suggested to me that I should do some giveaways where you would basically be required to have been in my Discord for a certain period of time. That way, new people coming in wouldn't be able to qualify for those that is something i will consider another one would be very similarly uh depending on your activity on my discord the, the, that's another idea i will consider but i don't know yet okay all those are built now let's go ahead and build the fabric plants i keep clicking on the calculator i can show you guys the calculator if you want um, mostly I'll probably just wait until I'm actually done with all this. So these are the most expensive buildings. 
Yeah, this is what I need the money for, for the fabric plants. They're the most expensive buildings. I'll build these and then I'll try to calculate how many more I need. Okay, I get, yeah, wood production. Nine jack-o'-lanterns. I'm making them very slowly. But I'll get there. The main thing is just the cotton. I, I can't make too much cotton. Otherwise, I, I'm i either not going to make enough money to finish the build. Or I can't get wood to build everything. I'm actually going to need more energy also. These fabric plants take up too much energy. Let me see. How many more fabric plants do I need? Two, three, four... Is that it? One, two, three. Actually, yeah, I just need four more. Can I already afford that? I can. One, two, three, four. What else do I need to buy? Beekeeper houses. Beehives. You know what? I don't think I need to sell gold anymore. Hold on, just checking Discord real quick. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my gold rush. Hopefully I didn't screw up my math there, but I think I should be good. Uh, Martin, so basically I'm very lucky if I win something, seeing I checked if I missed something in common ground discussion. And really in your discussion groups, I most play slow town for now. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Ali, what is your plan about wage now? The plan is still to do ice on the side. And that should give me enough cash for all my wages. We'll see if that's actually the case. I will leave this running. Like, I'll keep streaming even after I'm done for a while. To see if it actually works how it's supposed to. But yeah, let's get rid of all of this. And let's see if I didn't screw myself over. Because, um, okay, so if I have a million cash, my wages are 20k. They'll be higher after this is built. I have enough money to last me 50 minutes. Can I survive? Oh, we'll find out. Probably should have made four more gold, though. Oh, well. We're going all in. One hour twenty. All in. I can make those cotton fields that I need. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. Are you making steel now? Cool. Probably gonna take you a while to get the money for it for the new. So this will all be caught in. These are trees. Oh, above there are trees. Okay. So this is the first time I see you finish a build without cash. I'm too worried about that. Yeah, I mean. I'm a little worried too, but I should be fine. You know, I the honey competition, I don't know if you guys were around for the honey meta. That one was like cash negative because you needed a bunch of nuclear power. Because you, you got to make your ceramic bowls, right? So the honey meta was like the first competition I actually screwed up on and I quit halfway. I didn't, I wasn't streaming back then. 
Uh, but yeah, that competition, I, I screwed up bad. I ran out of money after one day and I quit that competition. I think I still got like the minimum gala prize. Because at the time they were alternating between gala and NFT rewards, I believe. Or maybe it was just gala, I don't remember. But yeah, that competition, I actually screwed up. Ran out of money. Gave up. That's the only one that uh, I, I've done that on. And I know for a fact that that's going to happen to some people in this competition. Because they're not prepared. They, they, they didn't know. They're used to doing competitions where you just do the build and you're cash positive and there's nothing else to worry about. Um, they're going to be, be in for a shocker once they come back and they're out of money. For real, I could remember so much and had 30 years of my green no joke. Oof. <laughs> yeah, too many details. Especially in this game, there are so much going on. Watch your I checked out your last video. I guess I was just focusing too much on <laughs> it. I wanted to change. Yeah, no problem. Watch I remember attempting the honey meta. I think I ranked like 1400. I didn't even bother for half of it. Because you need a lot of money for nuclear, and then you needed a way to stay cash positive. It was a tricky one, actually. Building these out. I can make more cotton yarn now. Okay, let's see. How's my warehouse it's looking? Still fine. If I need to, yeah, I need to sell some um, bowls. I don't really care about the cotton. I don't. I don't need to sell the cotton. Keep making cotton yarn. Need to build those. Do I need more energy? Probably not. Keepers. I'm almost done. Wow. I do need another logger. Oh, most of these aren't even turned on. Whoops. I wonder. Also, I gotta rotate these, um, but I'll do that once I have them all built. Here's the tip I didn't mention on my video, guys. You may want to consider rotating your beehives. I'm not gonna... I can't tell you exactly how to rotate them. You're just gonna have to pay attention to how your beekeepers go and enter your beehives. Because technically, your beehives do have a door. It, it will slightly help you with your wax production. was honey for cash and honeycomb for points maybe that's what it was maybe i just remember calling it honey meta you're much a help in the game for me at least for <laughs> glad i can help you out this time pardon Day mark uh, for no NSC, it's like 24 to 36 hours only for final build to run. I'm J mark, although I didn't test it, like I didn't go three full days making that build. I'm pretty sure, even as no NFT, you could do 48 hours of running the Jack o' Lantern build, but yeah, the first 24 hours you would have to put in the effort to make a say a gold rush, unless you have a better idea in order to save up enough cash to build everything and then to run it while you're doing that gold rush on the side you're gonna want to collect the resources you need to build nuclear power yeah i'm not saying it's easy but it is a possibility but yeah even if you run it for 36 hours i mean that's as competitive as you can be i suppose earth these hives need an actual front it's painful waiting for the bees or workers to figure out yeah, um, they should label them better or something, because it's... 
You're right, or it's, it, it's painful trying to figure it out. Actually, I don't think that's not a bee. Right? No, I mean, I need a beekeeper house. Yeah, that's right. I kind of go off memory sometimes when building this. So I forget exactly what building I had in what spot. So this is why I like placing down the roads first. It helps me organize this better. So pay attention to this. I almost have enough for my first batch of jack-o'-lanterns and then I'll see a nice boost in points. Right now I'm 69 and dropping. Damn, I'm loaded on cotton. Can I... I can sell some, I guess. I just don't want to... Doesn't really give me much cash. I don't want to keep my dragon busy selling cotton all the time. I'm not even making enough lumber anymore, that's right. Whoops. No wonder nothing's getting built. Have these all making lumber. I I'll make some more lumber real quick, and then I'll transition this to a fabric plant. Last one that I need. Yeah, because I'm using lumber on the wax and the cotton yarn now. Okay. More lumber. Okay. Also, I'll go ahead and remove this. And I'm not going to be using my lumber storage. Instead, I'm going to be using the lumber yards. Because having two lumber yards helps me place down the lumber quicker. And then the nearby fabric plant can pick them up. It just works out better that way. Oh, I do have all the jack-o'-lanterns I need now. Auto sell those. I'm not selling gold anymore. I need to flush that gold out actually. Where is that? Damn, that's everywhere. I'm gonna just ha I'm gonna have to flush that. Oh. He's busy. I'll flush it eventually. Uh, that means I'm gonna probably have to flush some jack-o'-lanterns. Roger, I think the front of the beehive are the two brown panels, right? Well, there's two brown, brown panels on both sides. But yes, Wajer, you are correct. Can you tell each side apart, though? Actually, are you even correct now that I think about it? I don't know. <laughs> now that I think about it, I, I think that might not be the case. Never mind, Watcher. It's not the side with the two brown panels. Sorry. Yeah, I just remembered. I remember the brown panels looking at me, but that doesn't mean they were the front. See, this one? This is the front. It, that's because I there's a road next to it. If there's a road next to it, it'll face the road. So, like, these are to the side. I gotta figure out if that's front or back. Towards the white panel, yeah. But pick a side. I'm gonna try to figure out which side this is. I forget if they fix the rotations or not. It's counter. It should be counterclockwise. <laughs> You're always wrong. It's hard to figure these out, the doors. See, so yeah, I got it backwards. Um, it is counterclockwise though. The rotations are correct. So now it should be correct. This one's correct. Yeah, I don't I really don't even wanna fine, I'll go ahead and move this one. I don't remember. 
I need to do all three of these rows whenever I'm finished building everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Okay, got these built. I can take that off. One more fabric plant. I'm about to go very broke. So Tweets is going to be very worried. I hope this works out. Hansa Hagen, hello. Are you planning to use spooky go around when place gives 13% walking speed of fabric plant weavers? Will it stuck on other buffs? I, I assume you meant to say stack and yeah, I believe it'll stack. I'm not planning to use it, Hansa, because I don't... I don't have a tile to spare for that. I really don't. I don't think it's worth uh, wasting a whole tile to place that. I mean, I can try to figure out if there is a tile I don't have. Maybe there is. I'll look around after I'm done, but I am not planning to place it down. Max jam production. Sweet. Max money. The tweets delete this building. What building? It's all going to plan. Rahif, you can sell some cotton yarn if your balance gets too low. True. I really could. Right now, I'm trying to get rid of all this spare material. I'm um, third? Really? Oh yeah, I forgot to check. I sold some jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I'm about to sell another stack in a bit. Damn, I'm third place, guys. I'm almost about to tie Nacho if I can get my dragon to sell these jack-o'-lanterns. That's gonna be insane. Yikes, I'm just going for top 25. I have the speed advantage, I don't have the perfect build. As you can see though, I am low on money. Um, let's see my wages again. 25k, I will run out of money in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm selling jack-o'-lanterns. I will take this opportunity to just flush everything. I did get rid of some jack-o'-lanterns, yes, but I wanted to get rid of that gold. Getting built. I might actually be done, but I'm gonna check right now. Cotton yarn. All oh, making cotton yarn. All oh, loggers, hatchet, juniors, lumber yard. These should all be making lumber. Dream silo, ground silo, uh, 17 cotton fields, is that right? 18 cotton fields. Oh, 18 cotton fields, yeah, that's right. Uh, pumpkins, is it? 12 pumpkin patches, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yep. The rest of it is tree farms. Arms. I just need to build these three. Okay. Very close to being done. What place am I in now? Oh. Second place? What the? Okay. I'm almost done. 
See, I knew this would be quick, guys. I, I tried to tell you. I didn't know how quick, but I knew this would be quick. Two comps, if right, you had money under control. What happened? Um, <laughs> Martin, this always happens. I'm going broke every competition. I should be fine, though. I should be. I am. Don't forget, I am making ice. This was the whole point of having this. Are they facing the right way? I mean, yeah, that works. Go ahead and here, here. Yeah, should be fine. My ice rate, 275? Yeah. So do the math. 275 ice. And... I'm still building those. 275 ice, right? 275. I don't have oopsie, by the way. I'm not going to have oopsie down. Or at least that's the plan right now. How much does I sell for again? I forget. I think it was 4,500. Let me check the town start playbook. I don't have it memorized because I don't do it that often. Juxies, right? You know, I don't think I even mentioned the rate yet. Um, The goal is 310 per hour because that's what I was doing on my practice design. So that is the goal. But ice. Ice block. 4,500 cash. Okay. So 275 times 4,500. 1.2 mil. Just about 1.2 mil. Uh, 300 jack-o'-lanterns. That would give me an extra 300k. So that would be 1.5 mil. Wages are about 25k per minute. That's 1.5 mil exactly, actually. I should be break even on wages, if my math is correct. Break even. Jack o' lantern, jack o' lantern, cotton yarn. So. I need one more beehive and then I. I think that's it. So the way I'm going to do this, because I need my, uh, I need to move my green bot. Oh yeah. I take this off. Damn. I can't click it. Okay. Take this thing off. Wow. I'm almost done guys. This is spooky fast. Okay. Porch. Oh my bad. What the heck am I doing? No, not porch. Beehive. Got a little confused there. Okay. Facts. Should all be turned on. They're not rotated yet. I still need to rotate them. These should all be turned on. I'm like triple checking this stuff. Crack lanterns, ice. Should be good. I should have everything. Uh, once this gets built, I don't see anything else missing. Tap Nacho on the shoulder, right? Yeah, I should mention him on chat. Like, what's up? Right behind you, man. I'm about to sell another batch. Oh, he just sold another batch also. It's gonna be quite a race. 4,500. Yeah, you're right. You're killing me? <laughs> With what? The wages? <laughs> the cat? I should be fine on the wages. I did the math. I should be fine. I'm gonna be under 1 mil for quite a while, though. <laughs> That's a bit scary. I hope it doesn't go wrong. Okay. So carefully, I'm going to rotate all of these two times very carefully. Because right now the door is on the right. I want the door to be on the left. So very carefully, two rotation.
sharing the pro stats with you, pro strategies. And I'll take a look at it in a little while to make sure it's actually working right. Already rotated the pottery shops. The I don't have to rotate the loggers, the tractors. It doesn't matter. All oh, haunted maisons are here. The, uh, the Santa's factory doesn't do anything. Just I mean, it gives passive gold, but it doesn't have to make anything else. Got these, these, uh, beekeeper house. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Um, one more beekeeper house, and I think that's it. I think. Double check. Eight, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 15. That's it. This is the last thing I need, I'm pretty sure. Beekeeper house, and that's it. I don't know. Oh, there it is. One wood. Oh, five wood. Okay, it's going to take a little while to build that, but it, it'll get built eventually. An hour and 43 minutes. So, yeah, it was under two hours to finish this. In my, in my head, I was thinking this might actually be done in like an hour and a half. Uh, if I were to have practiced the very start, I could have probably done this in an hour and a half. Because if you guys saw the beginning of the stream, I'm just thinking like there's 10 different things I want to do at the same time. Which one should I do? So I was kind of just hesitant, <laughs> kind of taking my time at the start. But we got it all down here. At least put the oopsies, please, to twist. Um, look at my build and tell me where I should put the oopsies. Just tell me, because I, I do, I am curious. Is there something I don't need here? You need the porch back? Uh, yeah, that's the plan, Rahith. I will put the porch back, but I need the crane bot to build this. And then I'll put the porch back, but you're right. Martin, I wanted to make more storages for gold, but see no big boat. Yeah, that's the thing. You really don't need that much warehouses because you're going to need to be using the trade depots. I don't think you need to fuel storage. I guess it depends on how you do your gas setup. You will most likely want what I call a double or triple gas setup. You're going to need to make a bunch of gas to sell over a thousand gold per hour. More with. I sold what three stacks. Let me sell one more stack of jack o' lanterns, then I'll see where I'm at. My wages will be twenty five thousand. Yeah, that's right. The oopsie would help. Like right now, I think I'm break even on wages to the cash that I make. I just where would I put the oopsie when you think about it? where i can't get rid of any trees i could maybe no i can't get rid of any cotton because eventually i will use all of it up if i get rid of one cotton field trust me i will i can't get rid of a pottery shop maybe i can get rid of a logger house but that might actually kill my lumber rate So it's on the loggers, there is road for that. Um, you might be right. I might be overlooking something here. Where though? Which one? Let me check my rate, my uh rank. Okay, I'm not gonna catch up to Nacho guys, <laughs> but it it's so cool being second place here. Nacho must have been doing wine bottles or jam or something. He must have been doing jam. Jam is more points at the start than gold is. Just expanding out gold rush to full and get steel going. Ooh. Let me look at my roads. The first one? The very first one? This one? This one? I'm not really sure, Tetsuis. You can send me, like, you can take a screenshot and, like, circle which one you think. Let me, yeah, let me just do this. 
on the loggers, there is a road to that. The first one. What's up, Sandula? Yeah, I am second place. I am done. Yeah, I'm done. Actually, let me go ahead and do this last thing. Sorry. Let me place this down. Then I'll go look at the roads again. Okay, I am officially done with my build. One hour and 47 minutes in. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stay here for at least another half hour, of course. We I wanna see if this is actually cash positive or break even. So pay attention to my money. 737,000. I am selling well, I still need to put everything on auto sell, but that that's not part of the finishing the build process. Auto selling pumpkin, ice, jack-o'-lantern. Um, I'll go ahead and put this. You know what? I don't know if these ever overproduce, but just in case, I would do 30. Lumber, I will auto sell at 40. I think it does eventually overproduce lumber if I did this correctly. Cotton. I don't need to sell cotton. That's the thing. Whoops. That was a mistake. I meant to put the bulls. No, I don't think it'll ever sell bulls either. I just want to put them just in case to cover all my bases. Wait, I put wood also just in case, in case something goes wrong. Trying to put bulls in here. Shouldn't be that hard. It's the last thing I need. There we go. There. Everything's on auto sell. Let me take a look. Damn. So Twice, you're a genius, you know that? You are a genius. I do need to build another logger though. But I, I will do that. That's a good idea. So you did point something out. I don't need this road. I can have the logger here and then I'll have one tile to spare. So yes, I, I am done with my build. At this point, this is one tweak that I'm willing to make. It's going to cost me lumber, wood, and energy, which I can make the energy here. No problem. Take off my porch again to make the energy, and then I'm going to need to put the uh, cream bot. So, five energy rates? Yeah, five energy. Yeah. So I can take this one off. So what this tweak is going to let me do is have a spot to put down my oopsie NFT. And that'll give me more security on my wages thank you to Teresa. that is a good catch did not know i didn't need that road build just the road Well, I don't know if this is exactly what you meant, but this is the way I see it. <laughs> we'll see. You did buy me a space either way. Subgrid. Okay. That's fine. I'll just do it this way. I could have done subgrid and kept that logger. I see what you were saying. Okay, I see. You could just build the subgrid. You are completely right. Okay, well, it's too late for that. But yeah, you're right. This tweak will only take about... a few minutes. Two, three minutes. So it's gonna use up five lumber, five energy, and I'll get the five wood. No problem. I'm not, I'm not used to using the subgrid to tweaks. But you're right, I could've just done that. So I'll have the oopsie here, and then I'll have three more spots here. You still need to rebuild one longer though if you use this upgrade. Um, no, technically, no, no. So Twist is right, Juxies. So what I could have done is 
taken this one off, this Bay Road, moved it in the middle right here. All of these would have been okay. This one would have also been okay. It, it would have been um, it would have been good. I would have had space on the side over here to put down my oopsie, or space on the side over here. It would have worked exactly the same. It actually would have worked better. But I'm not used to using the subgrid like that. It's a good catch though. Either way, to twist did save me a space to put down oopsie. First place? What? Let's go! <laughs> First place. Yeah, the road on the bottom. Hey, I'll take it. It's an improvement. I'm not complaining. Did good. I, I don't think... I wouldn't have caught that. Well, no, because I wasn't really looking for that. Any more space I can save to twist? Because if you can save me another spot, I'll put down the uh, the spooky that um, makes my fabric plant workers move faster. This you're right, Martin. This is the second time that I'm, well, that I was first place at least for a minute. <laughs> the last time was because I did the full wine bottle rush on a build where it took at least two hours to do the meta. Take screenshot. Um, you know. If it happens again, I'll take a screenshot. At least. I forgot. I forgot. Last time I was first place for like five minutes. I need the wood. Okay. Mm, let's temporarily stop making just a little bit of lumber. I'm starting to use up the cotton. Yep. So I can't get rid of a cotton field. Yeah, I'm gonna sell some jack lanterns in a bit. Martin, do you notice the slower fabric thing Nacho said? I did not hear if you already said so. No, what exactly is slower? I, I haven't heard anything about that. What did he say was slower? Hold on, I'm trying to get on Champions Arena again. Alright. You can still make the subgrid somewhere else and place spook in there when you open. That's true. That's we. Yeah, I can place on the spooky here. Place on my oopsie somewhere else where I subgrid. Now, what do you suggest? What is where is something that I am missing? See, when you think about it, I could maybe no. No way, yeah. I could get rid of one of these roads, subgrid these, put oopsie here, uh, but it might affect my build negatively. I do not know. I'm actually not sure. That's the thing. It doesn't... I, I don't even know if it would be worth trying. Because these roads do get used a lot, so... Uh, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Let me turn these back on. I gotta place on my uh, porch. Hold on, am I first? Or did I miss it? I missed it. Okay. I don't know if I ever catch up to Nacho again, guys. Yeah, logger corner is better. Marty, don't know. He says they are really slow. What exactly? I don't know. Some NFT buy. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the NFT ones. They move faster, but I don't know if they, they've always moved like that, you know?
don't think I can get rid of another road. Like, I don't want to get rid of these like, either, because they get used a lot. I have 20 wood. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Go ahead and flush it. Okay. Nice. Cut in yarn. Okay, I should refresh my production monitor so it'll be correct. Because it's been running for 50 minutes now. Resetting production monitor. We are two hours into the competition. I'm doing extremely well. Rank two. Gonna see if I can sell one more batch and get first place for even five seconds. What's your target rate? It should be 310 jack o' lantern per hour. Maybe 315 or something, or maybe 305, but it should be around 310. Okay, I'm selling some jack-o'-lantern and we'll see if I get it again. Actually, I don't think so, though. No. I think Nacho is too ahead of me now. Oh, well. Second place. Nacho is too ahead. See? But it hasn't even updated yet. I'm sure Nacho is already done with his build, though. Never thought I'd get, like, right next to him. See if I can tag him. Somebody tag me. I'm checking the Gala Games Discord now. That's nuts. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Vulture. Alright, Vulture did say he was gonna watch. Okay. Okay. Let me do this. You guys remember this trick or no? I have no idea if it does anything. Damn, he's at 10 mil. Okay. Tag him. Wait for me. <laughs> so you're the new pyramid. Just for this competition, Martin, because the NFTs for this, like, I just happen to have a lot of them that are super helpful for this. Also, I still don't think this is top 10. Um, you'd be surprised. Uh, like, there's people with higher rates than me. I've been assuming they made like really good designs, much better than mine, because I only practiced a couple hours on my design. I'm certain this has to be a top 25 rate. It has to be. Maybe like even like 15, you know, or 12, but not top 10. I'd be surprised if I do get a top 10. I've never gotten that before. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'll keep streaming for at least another half hour. I want to, oh, you're saying 350, but that's not actually right because I have spare cotton and stuff. I want to see what my rate is going to be at least half an hour in. It'll give me a better idea, hopefully, and um, see if I'm actually cash positive. Because right now, I can't tell. I have less than 700,000. I should be, though. Wax should be at least 600. 
Cotton iron should be at least 600. Lumber should be at least 1200. Yeah, I need it. I need to give it time to be stable. Yeah, I think now is a good time to name my town, you know. There we go. This is my town, guys. It's um it's a block of grass. Nacho, you will pass me like soon. I'm doing 200 less than supposed to. What? Nacho said I'll pass him soon. No, nah, there's no way. How how many is he doing? What's your rates? What do you mean? 200 less CY than supposed to? Oh, cotton yarn. 200 less cotton yarn than supposed to? That's a lot, actually. But nacho has got to be doing like 500 jack o lanterns I can't get that rate. I think that's what he said. Oh, he found the problem. Never mind. He's not gonna... <laughs> He's messing with me, probably. We'll see. Oh, um... So yeah, they added the FPS counter up here. Just click on this, frames per second. The old school trick we used to use back in the day, in case any of you actually played Townstar before it went over to Townstar Godot. Go to the corner of your map, zoom in, you'll have much better FPS. Might positively affect your production rates, depending on what your frames per second is. Um, from my testing back in the day i don't know if this is the case now but back in the day more than 60 frames per second was like actually positively affecting the rate and less than 20 i think it negatively affects your rate having less than 20 fps running it offline i'm not exactly sure how it compares to having more than 60 fps I, I think there is a difference i remember volcron saying something about that i just don't remember what it was Farmer's Commander, make sure to turn off power plants to make energy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that applies to... To everybody running crude oil pumps. Yes. Duxy is okay, guys, because Nacho have a problem in the competition we get. <laughs> right. The details blinding my eyes. Hands he have to check power plant that it doesn't show 2-1 energy. That's right, Hands I remember you mentioning that. Um, and I should have properly double checked everything as well. I seem to not have that issue. I think that issue happens if you start crafting cotton yarn and then provide the passive energy. That's what causes that issue. But no, I built my power plant first and then I built my, uh, then I started crafting my cotton yarn. So I don't think I had that issue at all. Let me keep zooming in. Cheat my frames per second a little. I will probably leave it running like this after I'm done streaming. And then I'm still gonna have to... I still want to check my permanent town. Oh yeah, Hanza, you were right. He posted a picture. Uh, Nacho's getting two energy passive instead of one. That's screwing up his fabric plants. Exactly like you said. There is an energy bug, yep. Yeah. It's not that they're requesting two energy, I think it's the, uh, they have two energy. And they don't know what to do with the energy, the extra amount, I guess.
20. I think it's cash positive to Twees. I mean, I'm at 800k now. Should be with the oopsie. C money, what's up? You got all this build in two hours? Yes, I kind of thought this was gonna happen. Uh, exactly an hour 47 minutes. I could have done it faster actually if I practiced the rush. I do not practice the rush whenever I practice my buildings, my whole design. I mean, I was thinking of practicing the the rush yesterday, but I'm like, nah, I'm just. I'll figure it out during the competition. Hey KC, how do you think with 200 per hour rank? I would think top 100. Yeah, I would think so. That's my guess. Top 100. 200 per hour is not easy to achieve. Trust me here. Hello. You're doing very well. I'm rank 15 at the moment, but this will last. Yeah, thank you. I am doing very well. I I thought this would happen for this competition. Makes up for the past three competitions, which I, I guess I did very well on those two because I didn't have a seaweed stand. I'm kind of stuck on the uh, second, but I, I'm not complaining. Yeah, there's no way I'm catching up to Nacho. I don't know what he was talking about. He fixed his issue with the fabric plants though, so now he'll be can I ask his rate? Can is is he gonna tell me his rate? If I ask you your rate, will you tell me? And can I mention it on stream? Or you want to tell me privately? Mills are also bugged or into the Teslas. Oh, well, I don't have that issue. I don't have no Teslas. If it ends up doing at least 310 per hour, I'll be happy. Because that's what it was doing when I was practicing. 310. Actually, it was doing like 314. But at least 310 per hour, I'll be happy. Nacho. Let's say over 440. Yeah, I'm, I'm not catching up to 440. It's impressive though. Because Old Town, I, I know Old Town has 370. Like, that's really freaking good. I do believe Old Town can get top 10. Um. For this competition. Prize is Gala. Is it lagging for everyone? No, not right now. I'll blackmail him. <laughs> what do you mean, Ellie? He, Nacho doesn't want to share his builds, you know. I respect his decision. I mean, do you really want to give out the number one build? Probably not a good idea. I mean, it's probably not a good idea that I even share my build because maybe some people would just end up using the same thing or something very similar. Who knows? I would assume that you even have the NFTs to do this. But, you know, some people do. The top 10 people, they probably have these NFTs. They're probably looking at my build, getting some ideas. Why is Perriman 20th? Maybe he has another strategy. It is very early. It's only been two hours. Maybe he got an hour late start. You know. Also, Paramin, it does sound like he's kind of getting frustrated with, I guess, Common Ground World in general. With the team, with the uh, prize distribution. And that's all understandable. I understand why he would be upset. He spends a lot of money on this, supporting the project. Now, to him, it's an investment as it is to many people. Tatuis Nacho's build 
probably doesn't even take the whole map. This is what I imagine. Nah, it, it for sure has to take up the whole map. That's we. It has to. He he wouldn't be the type of person to waste space. If you're the top player, you don't waste space. Don't think so. That's good, Paraman. Glad you're watching, by the way. I had no idea you watched my stream. I'm sorry if I made assumptions. <laughs> Sandula, I'm trying to figure out one nuke build, but can't get my finger on it. Well, you, you've seen the one I shared. Other than that, I don't really have any ideas. Because you just need the one nuclear power for the pottery shops. I mean, it would be better if you can make no nukes, but I'm, uh, that requires NFTs, basically. I don't think there's any other way to do that. Orbs of Hope or Passive Energy like I have with the solar panel and the diamond charge station. You know, expensive alternatives. You know, I do wonder, did I give Paramin any hint? Or I'm sure he has his own build. It's probably better than mine. I do wonder what his production rate is. Because like the... I don't go around asking the top players what their rates are to be honest. Like most of the time I, I don't really care. Um, I will chat with like some people in our guild like O-Town. Since he's in the dub guild. And he always does an amazing job on his builds. Like he has some crazy good rates. So like I try to make that my goal, but I I can never get the production rate he gets. Um, I know he's doing more than me, but I told him that my advantage is just speed because I know I can do this fast. That's my advantage, but that's not gonna be enough. He'd probably get the, this build done in like one more hour. I have no, I, I'm not sure, but speed's not enough. Not enough to win this. So I'm doing yeah, I know I had to build from last year. I'm tweaking, but it's two nukes. Yeah, I see. So when I made my the no NFC required build that I just shared, uh, I tried to just keep it to one new because I knew wages are going to be an issue. And the, the build I shared last year, it had three nukes. And I'm like, yeah, that's not necessary. You don't need three nukes. I don't know why I made three nukes last year. Maybe cash wasn't that much of a problem. I have no idea. Oh boy, what's up? You seem to be doing pretty well, all the best, thank you. This is probably one of my best competitions, honestly. I'll keep checking it just to see how everyone's doing. But yeah, I'll be here for like another 20 minutes or so. I am gonna stream Legacy on Thursday, not exactly sure when, but at some point I'll set that up and end of the competition on Friday, as usual. Okay, so Pyramid's going with the strategy where he collects all the money to last the entire competition. Okay. Cool. Thankfully, I didn't run into any bugs with the energy. But I'm pretty sure that's because I set up my power plant and uh, solar panel and diamond charge station before I built all this other stuff. Asia Gaming, what's up? Bukari, I have orbs of hope, but they take too much space for this build. True. Sandula can't make it one. I'll just run the two and see how it looks this year. Oh, okay. Martin, notice with Gold Rush, I get around 300 and tomorrow 500 maybe, but your build for me about 450 and Gold Rush for 500. Hmm. Let me know how much gold you are able to get. I know you need more space for the trade depot and the oil pumps and the refineries, possibly the power plants. I, I understand all that. 
So it's probably unrealistic to get 1500 gold per hour. I'm wondering what the upper limit is there because it should be possible to still get a thousand gold per hour. Quadra, I guess you're making enough cash. It's hard as hell, but I should be. I did the math on the calculator. I should be cash positive, just barely, and that's because of the oopsie NFC. You know what this build is missing? Three scarecrows. Three of them. I can scare some people out of here. Scare some people out of the competition. These three scarecrows will change everything, guys. My projection rate's gonna triple. <laughs> this means I think you could change one tree for cotton. Maybe, says Weiss. Do I want to risk that, maybe? Probably not. But I'll consider it. Because I can tell you this, says Weiss. Uh, it does eventually overproduce lumber. And it does eventually use up all the cotton. You are correct about that. But replacing a tree farm for a cotton field... Might not go the way I would hope it goes, you know? Um... The risk. Something I didn't test. Didn't Halloween buff. Yeah, that's right. 1200 gold. Okay, for sure. Good. Stop spending money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I, I didn't even check what those scarecrows cost. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna go bankrupt with that. The game without NFC is difficult. For sure. It is more challenging. The NFTs obviously make this game easier to play, as most games would. Um, that's how the... What do you call it? The pay-to-win mechanics work. Because I'm not, like, lying or anything here. This, this game's obviously pay-to-win. Most games are. This game has competitive aspects, so yeah, they're gonna make it pay-to-win. That way the company makes money, but there also needs to be a way for the players to make money as well. but don't you need more cotton eventually i will I'm, i mean right now look i have a bunch of cotton but eventually i will probably need more cotton seems like they take most of the cotton from here you know, i could try like putting a cotton field here and changing one of these for a tree i didn't think of doing that before not sure what that would accomplish but an idea. Oh. I'll be moving stuff around and then I'll regret it if it ends up worse. But yeah, you got any of you got ideas, feel free to let me know. I'll consider them. Yeah, Martin, yeah, if you do the loggers and the pen or bunk houses, um, that's, that's better, you know, than just having the regular pen or houses. Gold 500, but it's wild to build up. Yeah. Hurt, but most people started with nothing except maybe an express depot if they bought gold. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, also, like... For a new player starting to play the game, I don't recommend they just straight up buy NFTs. They need to play the game with no NFTs or just the Express Depot. Because honestly, you should know how to play the game without NFTs. Like when these no NFT competitions come around, I'm going to try some. I want to see where I stand against other players. Obviously on those competitions, like I probably won't share any builds beforehand. Like, I mean, I'm not planning to. Because then everybody would do the same exact thing and get <laughs> pretty much almost the same rate. Tario, what's up? Yeah, I finished. Thank you. It's going very well. 
I am still second place with a pretty good lead. Not going to stay second, but pretty good lead at the start. Nacho's taking off now. Yeah, he's doing his 400 per hour. Good for him, though. The whales, of course, are different. Yeah, the, the whole gameplay for the the whales, which honestly, in this competition, this is a competition I do feel like I am whaling. Like, for sure. Um, They they use all these paved roads, which I've never done that before. Like, this is the first competition I actually have enough paved road NFTs to use for everything. And it is a big time save. Makes organizing things easier. There's NFT buildings, which are a time save. Um, what else? I mean, this most of this other stuff I, I did already have, but not like the, the haunted zones. Meta specific NFTs like the haunted zones really help out for anything that has to do with the beehives and the buttery shops. So yeah, just having the right NFTs just so happen to have everything I need for this. Yeah, learn to build. Exactly. Sally Sullivan, hello. Well, yeah, Farmer's Commander. There you go. Rich family makes life much easier. Everything's pay to win. Even racing. Computers pay to win. Better computer does better. Eating is probably pay to win. <laughs> Commander Len, hello. Time for me to go, unfortunately. Thanks for everything you do. You're a legend up Sabraj. Shout out to all the viewers. 19 likes and over 50 of us just say. <laughs> nice to have had you here. Thank you so much for tuning in, Commander Len. Appreciate it. Feel free to leave a like, sure. I usually don't remind people on the live streams. I mean, I prefer you like all my YouTube videos, but yeah. Sally Sullivan, are you going to play The Walking Dead for sure? Yeah, I am going to play Walking Dead Empires. Maybe not every day, but I will play it. Uh, I'll live stream it at least a couple times, depending on how interesting it is, how much stuff there is to do. I'll keep live streaming it, but it really just depends. Like. Champions Arena, I only live streamed a couple of times because it's very repetitive right now, just doing Arena. And like, I'm doing Arena right now, but it keeps getting stuck and I keep forgetting to refresh my game. They, they really have an issue with that right now. Uh, Legacy, I live stream that, but uh, Legacy is not one game I'm really planning on playing much. Like, I'm just being straight up honest with that. I'm sure the game will be good, it's just, I, I gotta be selective at some point. Legacy was never really on my list. But yeah, I'll play The Walking Dead. I even have uh, some NFTs for that. My sister's very interested in that game, so I will likely play with her. I don't know like she's going to want to join in on my streams or anything, but we'll see. Give um, it like two more minutes and then this will be pretty this will pretty much give me the the rate i'm doing pretty much champions arena is a great game for sure the problem i'm realizing right now is that there are several connection issues they need to fix with the arena they fix that it's good um of course there's a lot of other issues that people say uh they they should change the victory point structure they need to add more stuff make it easier for free to play all of that stuff i agree with but the main issue for me and a lot of players right now is just that every two fights you do in the arena you basically lose connection and you have to restart the game that is a critical issue with the connection or network of the game or something like that not the game play itself just the uh connection and yeah, Champions Arena is great, but I honestly am more excited for Eternal Paradox, and I have said this before. Eternal Paradox has so much more to offer than Champions Arena. The graphics might not look as nice for the arena pers 
the section of the game. But Eternal Paradox, I do believe it'll have more stuff to do, a more fun gameplay. You're still going to have Arena, it's just going to be different. And I believe it is more balanced. It's still super pay to win, don't get me wrong. Very pay to win. The whales will win the game. But it does feel more balanced. What is your rank now in the arena? Uh, in Champions Arena on this season, I'm rank 8 right now, I believe. I can double check right now. But yeah, I believe I am rank 8. I'm trying to get top 15. The only reason I'm doing so good, to be honest, I, I got lucky. Like, I got um, one of the best champions while doing a video on how to summon <laughs> I, I did end up getting Zafrina which is one of the best champions and then I, I got pretty good gear and I'm leveling up the gear for all my champions right now Bakari doing some champion arena campaign I haven't done campaign in a while actually but um, I can do like maybe two stages and then I get stuck again yeah I'll probably do that later Already hit max level on there. Apparently the max level is 80. The max account level. Alright, so we've been running this 30 minutes. So let me take a closer look. Jackal Lantern rates 315. 316, 317. That's, that's about right. 315 was the high point I was getting while I was practicing this. Well, now it went up to 317. Well, now it went up to 319. Okay, it's doing at least 315. That's good. Ice is 270, that's good. Cotton yarn. Let me plug these into Crypto Dude's calculator. It might be easier to see things. When will the arena stream be? I haven't made an arena, arena stream in a while. So I may consider making another one, but we'll see. Because really all I'll be doing is arena, which I'm doing right now. Um, Like I could maybe try to do campaign. Maybe I can not do the campaign until I stream it, but we'll see. This is Crypto Dude's calculator. It is in Alpha, I believe. It is available in Lycan Warlord Guild's Discord server on one of the channels. But yeah, it's it's not done. Shout out to Crypto Dude for working on this, by the way. So the way this works, and I'll possibly make a video explaining it, is it has all the items here that are currently in the game, similar to his visualizer, Lycan Warlord Guild uh, Town Star visualizer. You look for the item. It will show you exactly the items required to make this, just like the visualizer. See, when Jack o' Lantern needs two ceramic bowls, four clay lump, etc. You can put in the rate that you are planning to do, or the rate that you are doing. In my case, let's do 318, because apparently that's what I'm making, right? And let me get this battle started. One second. Got interrupted by Champions Arena. Okay. And um, you insert the values you're making, right? So mine's only been running for 30 minutes, so the values are going to be off. I'm entering the per hour values of everything. For all the relevant stuff anyways. And we'll see how, how this is looking. It'll tell me if I'm underproducing something or overproducing. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, that was wrong. I'm not making clay lumps. Yeah. Whoops. I don't make clay lumps. Uh, it's actually make those. I hear like a faint beeping. I don't know if that's actually the song or if that's something else. Pumpkin, I'm overproducing pumpkin for sure. And what? Okay, so I put in the values. It says I'm not making enough ceramic bowls. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess the ceramic bowl, it, it's not its not up to date. <laughs> like, it's behind on ceramic bowls, okay? I'm hoping that's what it is. Yeah, I guess I'm not making enough cotton by a little bit. The cotton yarn is, okay, also off by five, yeah. Lumber, overproducing it. 
pumpkin over producing it wax 30. okay so when you look at the numbers i'm really not it doesn't make sense for me to do 318 even though it says i'm doing 319. so really let me change this up oh i deleted all the values okay well, hopefully that gave you an idea, somewhat of an idea how it worked. I actually forgot to put in the wood here, but that's over producing as well. I You can put in all the values here and it'll tell you if you're overproducing or underproducing it. And I, I should have everything here to make at least 315 per hour, pretty much. Look where you need the bigger idle rewards. The last one I think is... 54 out no not 54 sorry 42 hours i think is the most you can get at level 71 they might actually increase the level the account level limit later on i would think so martin fast first and gold now is about 700 cool i, I would hope you get it to at least a thousand though bakari my two new epic champions are letting me grant out more campaign levels for sure they helped out those three epic champions they gave us. Thankfully, I didn't get any repeats actually, so I'm glad about that. Roger, I would watch you if you stream Champions Arena. I'm just free to play at the moment, so can't really advance it, but still fun. All right, yeah, I'll consider that. I know Smilin does most of the Champions Arena streams. Like sometimes I hop on to his, see how he's doing. But yeah, I've only done like two or three Champions Arena streams. Hold on. Strange. It sounds kind of like beeping, but then maybe that's my AC. Okay. Hands up. First Jack of Lantern sale. Awesome. Bonjour, how did you get three Epic Champions? I only got one. At the very beginning, we we got one epic champion for doing 14 days. Bajer, are you brand new to Champions Arena, by the way? Let me ask that first. But um, there is an event going on right now where if you log in for three days, you get an epic. Seven days, you get another epic. And 14 days, you get a third epic. I do not know if that event applies if you are brand new to the game. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I would hope so. I'm gonna make one change. I noticed most of the cotton goes over here. And not enough cotton goes over here, right? So I'm going to put two cotton fields here and I'm going to replace them on the other side. I don't think this change should do anything bad. I hope not. I can't replace that one because that's for water. But I can replace, say, both of these right here. I hope this has no negative repercussions. Yeah, two cotton fields here, so they can bring cotton here. Okay, that one. Yeah, that one can't. Um, I'll just put it over here. There. I'll put the tree here. There. That should be fine. Hope I didn't break anything. I'm cash positive though, barely, but I am cash positive, so that's great. Martin fuel does not build up. Oh, so you're using all the fuel, that's what you mean, huh? Okay, I understand, Martin. 
Because you're using all the gold to sell the... You're using all the, the gasoline to sell the gold. Wajira, I am super new. I did get a second epic and I don't play that often. So maybe just log in more. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Um, after 14 days, you would accumulate a total of 3 epics from the event going on. And then... There's the, uh, if you're brand new, I think you get an epic on day number 14. Unless that was a limited time thing, I'm not exactly sure. So you should get either three or four epics after two weeks. The sweets, can you replace a logger for a fabric plant? I don't think so. Hmm... Well, here's the thing to tweet. If I were to do that, maybe I could get more cotton yarn, right? But I I don't have a way for me to get more wax. More ceramic bowls for more wax. So I would just end up overproducing cotton yarn. Which I don't think I need to do that. I, I'm already cash positive from the ice blocks and the oopsie NFT. So I don't think I can... I don't think I should. Yep, I don't think I can and I don't think I should do that. Yeah, seems like it'll settle at 3.15 though. As usual, I'll update you guys on my Discord later tonight. I usually just post it on the chat. In case something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Oh, okay. Crabs is getting a thousand gold per hour. He posted it on my Discord too. So it, it is doable for sure. Yeah, no NFT. Awesome. Wajer, I saw that picture you posted um, on Champions Arena. So there is 11 days left in that event. But also, it looks like you need to log in for 11 more days to get all those rewards. So you cannot miss a single day. From my understanding. Yeah, well, sure. don't miss a single day or else you won't get the 30 selection stones on day 14. Bukari about the nuke, got at the steel and iron. ATT, I think, I think you meant to say out. How many nukes were you making, Bukari? Was it one or... You might have shared something, actually. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, play every day. Or at least log in every day, yeah. Um, I think that little trick with the, the little switch up with the cotton fields should help out the cotton yarn a bit. Because these uh, workers won't have to walk all the way over here. So it should work better. I get to use that spare lumber. 
it will eventually i can tell it's gonna eventually um overproduce and sell cotton yarn see it's piling up slowly but surely cash is going up and yeah we're it's good everything's working perfectly awesome so take your guesses i'm in the live stream in like 10 minutes by the way um i'm all done here but take your guesses what rank am i gonna get at the very end of the competition assuming i'm pretty sure i'll get top 25 right so take your picks from 1 to 25 let's see o-town rank 7 homeboy 13 planet bob 16 some people from the dub guild Seventeen, eight. If I had to guess, I would guess twelve. But I do want to hear you, your guys' guesses. It would be so fun if I got top ten. Twenty-three. All very possible. Bukari, I'm not gonna get first place. Bajir two, I have faith in you. Thank you, but it's definitely not two. <laughs> but I appreciate that. 14th, reasonable guesses. Anywhere between 10 to 15, I think, are all reasonable guesses. Nah, not no third place, Martin. 20th, okay. Could be. You were right before? Hmm, yeah. But the exact rank at third place? Nah. If there's going to be any competition where I get top 10, I guess this would be one of them, right? Would love to see top 10. Yeah. I was going to say 12, which is my favorite number, but I might use that. Hmm, I don't know. I kind of think 12, but we'll see. So, like, so close to top 10. I'll be at that point. But not enough to actually do it. It's about to sell more ice. Cotton is going, keeps going down. Everything should be covered. You know, I think it actually does overproduce pumpkin. But like, at the same time, I don't want to get rid of a pumpkin field or my porch. Nice. That would be great. All right, the market's been kind of pushing the past two days. Mostly positive. Ethereum went up, Gala went up. Not a whole lot or anything, but just a bit. Always good to see. I, I guess it depends on what situation you're in. That's... That's good for me to see. Oh, one thing I'm probably going to do tomorrow is um on the town star playbook i'm gonna add the new items because farmer michelle did pretty much tell us exactly what we need yeah next competition is gonna be trick-or-treat bags as far as we know we're gonna use corn four corn one wood in the windmill will make corn starch Corn starch will be used to make candy corn in the candy shop. Three corn starch, three sugar, one milk, two energy. Lots of ingredients. So 
sugar heavy and corn heavy as far as we can tell. And then you're still going to need milk for the chocolate bars. And this whole setup for the cotton yarn. It's interesting. I don't even know what to think about it yet. I hope we actually get time to practice. Was the crypto market? I think it's pretty easy to predict right third wave done in correction. Same story as always. I'm not like, uh, yeah, I'm not into like trying to predict and stuff and all that. So there's really a whole lot. I don't know. <laughs> I just see it doing good for like two days and I'm like, oh, that's good. And then it goes back down the next day after. I mean, if, if you are able to predict all that, wouldn't you want to, you know, like invest if you really do know when it's going to go down, when it's going to go up? Like, I probably sound like a noob. I've traded crypto before, but I don't like, I don't really do it like that all that often. I don't do it anymore. I don't follow like the markets or anything. Like try to buy at a certain point, sell at a certain point. Roger, I do future trades, 5,000% profit trades. Oh, impressive. Yeah, I've never done like future trades or anything like that. Martin, when oil left to make more battery, don't want to build more. It's almost out of fuel. How many oil pumps are you running, Martin? I think Crab said there was uh, 10 oil pumps to make all the gasoline he needed for a thousand per hour, a thousand gold per hour. If you want to change your name on the leaderboard, the only way would be to change your Gala account name and it would take a while to update on the leap. At seven, now eleven. Oh, okay. I think eleven's enough. I have 11 oil pumps running on stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic number then. And ZBI is catching up. Yep. Here they come. I'll stay top 10 for 10 hours and then I'm dropping off. But it was a good, it was a really, really good start. I'm happy I was able to get this done so fast. And it's working pretty much exactly as expected. 315 per hour, minimum 310 per hour, based off the amount of ceramic bowls I'm making. That might be my weak point. But the I did manage to keep this cash positive. Because originally all of this was pottery shops. But I wasn't able to get enough cotton and wood production to even get past 315 jack-o'-lanterns. So I got rid of those spare pottery shops and I put down this setup to make, uh, you know, make cash positive by doing ice. And the mayhem, I wasn't planning to use that, but the tweets helped me out with that, so I found some space for that. And the three scarecrows to keep the other top players away from my town. Farmers, if you know anything in advance, you are rich as much as you like. Well, yeah, I mean, if you could tell the feature, you know which lottery numbers to play, you know which stocks to trade, which crypto to trade. Yeah. If somebody could truly read the future, they would be rich. More than I need to sell in slow town and then sleep. Oh yeah, I understand that. Ah, cool. 
Ah, I see. Enjoy your day, Martin, and enjoy your birthday for sure. Happy birthday. Quasar. Uh, oh, we're responding to Farmer's Commander. Use profits to buy NFTs. I'm not just sitting on. Oh, okay. See if I'm missing anything here. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I am sure that it's going to get some people. Seven eighty four on gold. All right. Well, I'm good. I'm going to leave this on the corner zoomed out after, you know, after I end the stream and run it all day. Yeah. And then I'll run it on offline mode for the other two days, you know, assuming everything's working well. I'll keep you updated on my rates and my rank at the end of the day. Look forward to my legacy stream on Thursday. That's the plan, at least. Um, I'll stream the end of the competition on Friday. And then the next competition on Tuesday. On that one, I am planning to do some giveaways. Not exactly sure how many. It'll be randomly throughout the stream. I will use a program to randomly pick names. Just depending on how many, you know, probably have people comment or something. Answer a question. They got to answer it correctly. You know, we'll figure all that out next week. So appreciate everybody stopping by, watching, hanging out. Hopefully your build does well. Make sure you actually have enough cash to run the whole thing. And don't stress out. Have fun, you know. Make sure you join the giveaways on my Discord. Make sure you join my Discord. That's all I got. <laughs> so as always, I appreciate your support so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.